Explain the channel. Yeah, well. Okay, oh, bring hey, her in. I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, but yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to I know like what's her. going on inside. Well, there's too many people here. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. They're gonna be like, never mind, let's go tomorrow, and then she's gonna be dead. I got it. Come here a sec. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. What? Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? We, we're going to build a wall. What's wrong? Uh, so loud, you idiot! Dude, is that a bite mark? Are you okay? Also, <laughs> I think I'll be all right. <laughs> wow, that looks like it hurts. Jeez, that stupid bear must have done it. Nah, I don't think Teddy would hey, do that. You, we know you're in there. Oh, oh, is this a game? No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. This land feels so bare. Oh, I hear people. I remember people talking about Persona 5 stuff about uh, bear puns, and oh, is this yeah. the man? So there's no one inside? You're sure? I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. <sighs> I love that we go to the TV. Warn Yukiko anyway. Since was there fog last night? Helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone. But still. Yeah, you'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? It's oh, it's Saturday. Yeah, sure. they work. They go to I'll school on Saturday. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's midnight channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. Hmm. Huh? <gasps> we exchanged cell numbers, not chat IDs. Did that right. not exist Don't back then? Watch tonight. Because the, the government wasn't bad. Government bad. Was it really Yukiko who appeared last night? I mean, we know she was in it. She looked, it looked like exactly like her. Her hair anyways in the kimono. There was no fog last night, was there? It's only after fog lifts do we see a dead body. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. It's a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. <sighs> I know. <laughs> we haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. Now we got a second one. <laughs> did they, did they shorten victim to Vic? In, the, in uh, the this police? This is a murder case. There's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. I, I would if never hear that. What the hell's going on? Dojima, it's... You know, Complicated. <laughs> I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. Okay. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. Hmm. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Well, actually... You got a point there. Some would say that them doing that would get the suspicion taken away from them to do it. You know, reverse Same psychology. With Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. It's a lot He's of murder. Been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. Hmm. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. 
Very odd. You know, Matame's career has also been killed stone dead. He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Okay, buddy. Yeah, I agree. Okay, like... I, it's a culture difference, but... Saki Konishi. So, I guess we find... She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the yeah, body. Yeah, she had already done it. Didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only There's definitely a connection. She attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. It's true. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news too. They keep saying small town, but like, is, is that really what a out already? Is that really what a small town is? Like, my town... Well, then my town would be a small town, but it's not. It has, like, a very prestigious state college. <laughs> Play. Okay, I got it. How's this? Oh, my bad. Maybe there was that. something about the corpse that, that only up. Saki Konishi knew. Only something and about that. Herp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. But why wouldn't she have just said it? Dojima, don't rip into him too much. Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victim. Don't investigate the Our kids. Perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Well, that's oh, a very. Is your detective's intuition at work? Is Dojima about to rip a dachi? Like, don't he's he's trying. Hmm. Dun-dun. Hello, Nanako. How are you? Dun. Well... The, this is absorbed in the quiz show. You should leave her alone. Wait, what's the, what's the quiz? No, tell me what the question is, B. I want to know. We saving. Excuse me. Anything in the fridge? I wonder what would happen if I ate that fried rice on the first. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? Oh. Is Good evening. Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. What? I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to not a dream, not a hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her prince charming. What? I came prepared. I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from oh. top to bottom. I'm out to catch a whole I harem, and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine. Well, here I go. Um. She's gonna die. <laughs> Oh, and they're calling me. Hey, did you see that? Yes, I did. That was Yukiko-san for sure. It looked like her, and I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? Correct. And she looked like she was on some low-budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? What's going on? Calm down. <laughs> Call Chia. Tomorrow is Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. Boy, do it right now. Oh, are we already making commitments? She's gonna be dead. Oh. She's dead. Oh, that's business. That's your casual. Edgar. Oh, good Edgar. Morning. Hello, Nanako. Why are you up on a Sunday, girl? Go to bed. You're up early. He woke up early, so I woke up with him. He what? said he's gonna be late. We'll be left all in. Are you going somewhere? Yes, ma'am. I'll be fine by myself. Are you sure? So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast. Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Nanaka, don't leave the house. Worry.
aren't you going somewhere? I decided to go out. I don't get a choice. Yo, she's a confidant, boys. We gotta get in there. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Hold up. Bro, bro, what are those shoulders? <laughs> Found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. Oh, uh, uh, uh. We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable. Hey, like... man, pull down a whole so, samurai which sword. Your fancy. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade though. Oh, okay. Me, oh, okay. Hey, I thought, I thought he pulled out. <laughs> kind of like this. Okay, calm down. Don't hurt anybody. Or like this. I straight up thought he what pulled out a this? real samurai sword, though. Come, yo. Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Yeah, that's that's what you get for being stupid. Huh? Oh crap! I mean, no, 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 no! This this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. That's not that's happening. Where I can see them too. I said now. But, but this isn't stop what are you are you resisting an officer of the law you're under arrest <laughs> <laughs> you trog now 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 she's gonna die you didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this you know what's been going on around town we got men stationed everywhere for God's sake you're lucky I was around this would have ended up on your permanent record. It's true. Japan be Sorry. like that. Ah. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Huh. Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Uh. Hey, did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Uh. Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. Guys. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Run to Juness right now. Well, no, she's probably dead. Next time Fog shows up, she's dead. Whoa, pardon me. Excuse me, sir. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Correct. Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, you could go Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this there. between Hey, yo, that's my man. We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Uh. But that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But... People have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, huh. did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? No. Uh, hard, hard times? times? Well, that announcer, Miss Yamano, was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Uh-huh. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. That's not good. And... With Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the. Are you trying to say? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap! I think I've gone too far. You, didn't you guys are again. not suspecting this high school girl. You. What the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Civvies. I know, I know, uh, right here. my friend's in, a mili in the military and his dad absolutely calls me civvy. He calls me a civvy. So I know that's a real thing. <gasps> well, boys, we messed up. She's dead. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san? Yeah, they think they... There you are! Whoa, that's your business cat. Yo. What are you guys doing? That's your cat. Dude. I'm in, guys. Been looking everywhere. 
Guys, I think I found the waifu. Oh, uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. She huh? knows. Oh. You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. I, I... <laughs> I guess yes. we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. No. <laughs> that I know that high loaded. school kids. And the fact that the announcer but... died right after makes her even more suspicious. This happened in, when they started yes. cursing in 5, I got so Yukiko woke. Did it? <gasps> what the hell is wrong with them? I like your casual. Dude, don't snap at me. Yeah, Who's the well, victim here, damn it? Not the suspect. They both seem agitated. Look, we need to save her. Look, we need to save her. Right! That's the important thing! With the police totally on the wrong track, we've gotta handle it ourselves. Oh god. I'm going to <laughs> Okay, so does every single persona game just say police ban? I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Because it happened in right? five. Yeah, she has a persona, boys, just don't worry. Weapons. We can't go in empty handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Is it gonna be like five where they're like, ah, if they believe it's a real, then it's a real. What these are actual weapons. Six thousand yen. I can buy that. That's a that's a blacksmith! Here we are. What kind of shop is this? This looks like a black. Uh, metal works, I guess. Oh. They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Don't, don't say. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Boys, this is the most authentic. Here, this one looks good. Don't touch but it. It might be too heavy. This is the most authentic know, shop I've ever I still seen. I think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but <laughs> you don't. You don't know shit about how I. Oh, feel. okay. Whoa. I might die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that. Oh, all right. Don't worry. You're you're. I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Listen. I'm not kidding around. <laughs> Wait a second. You know Isn't that like bad? There. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. No, second to none. Okay, that means you're there. We are first. Okay. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. They're going to be like, here, have a thousand yen. All right. And having converting to yen to dollars and like legit, they'd be like, Man, oh, three. They were like, in the Persona 5, they're like, oh, there's a sale on five terabytes for. For uh, five thousand yen, and that's like five dollars, and I'm like, that hey, sounds phenomenal. Like picking out something for me too. You're our main asset in battle right now, so I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. <gasps> Give me the money. Five thousand. Give me five dollars. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? How do you have enough money to buy your own stuff? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. Yeah. It's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. <laughs> when you hide your okay, double battle axe, double-sided battle axe under your skirt. All right, let's split up and get ready. <laughs> the store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Where fret? I mean, fucking Japanese then I'll people. Then see you dude. guys at the Juness food court. I'm so racist. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Wait, did I not get to buy anything? Oh, you're cool. I thought those were wrinkles on your face, but no, that's like a scar. Or it's or it's just like really cool art. Come to see, come to see my art. Please look around. Take your time. Hello. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to take that. That was my bad. Yes. Yes. I hit no last time. Do you want to sell? Yes. So they don't have... Okay, they don't have long range in this game. Increases strength by run, increases endurance. 
Okay. Armor. Sell. Rotation katana. Spendables. Nope. You can talk to him. Hello. If you want something special, bring me your own materials and I'll try to use them. Oh. You can craft? I love it. Buy armor. Buy armor for at least me. Chainmail, I'll take it. Yes. I sold my t-shirt off my body. Dude, the menu still looks swagging in this game. I mean, there's no, like, 3D, there's no 2D person behind them, but... Can't get to Junis, boys, go! Oh, we're gonna have to... <gasps> Igor! So, it finally begins. Now, if you give me a moment of your time... Okay, so Igor... Igor will always show up randomly and be like, Hey, my guy, we need to talk. Is this where I'm going to learn about fusing personas and talking to them to gain them? <gasps> There's another person. There's we another velvet room attendee. You. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. Me. But you have nothing to fear. You already yep. have the power to fight against it. I am pretty good. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> your persona ability is that of the wild card. Meaning I can use if multiple. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. And I think... Our role is to facilitate that. Make sure it be do good. I think in this game... My contribution is to give birth to new personas. So in this game, I think in the fifth one you had just like levels, but I think in this game it's you, the, how powerful they are is based on your confidant with them. Mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. In the you fifth the game, to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. You got rid of your guy immediately. You're the one you attained, and then you used him in the final battle, and I wonder if that's going to work. I wonder do enemy, do the same thing the here. The seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. Are we not going to talk about the new when Velvet Room person? Cards, we have Margaret. Please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They nice. will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. Persona of the Magician. Arcana is fused. That persona will gain even more power. Yeah, Arcana Burst. Or right, that's what it was called in 5. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Oh, that's Register the one where we... Yeah. you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. Can we talk about the person or what? I would what? like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who will be helping you on your journey. <laughs> <gasps> Marie? <sighs> yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. Hey, I already seen you. Huh? Oh, maybe. That'd explain why you're so familiar. Hmm. I've seen you before. Excuse her. This is Marie. Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, she may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice and forgive her for her impoliteness. Igor just be like... Nah, don't worry about it. We will be dealing with skill cards. <gasps> skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help <sighs> you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. <clears throat> Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. I love how the music's still the same. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? Yes. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. 
If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please mm. do not forget this. Yeah. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Looks gonna be Until very then, deceiving because he looks like man. the bad guy. But I know he isn't. He's actually a very good man. <gasps> Save point. Yes. Easy. Let's go. Yo, Sky. Oh, like the detail thing, I do, I, it does, is working because it tells me what days Junus on Sunday and holidays, and he's in the classroom, second floor on Monday and the other day. Which is very cool. Thank you, game. Not game. Thank you, mod. All right, we need to go to Jonas, though. Hello. You're not from around here, are you? Visit the entrance to Avio. It's starting the 23rd. You can apply for a part-time job, and my age is getting higher than possible. I don't know. It's Japan. They do a lot of slave... Child, <laughs> child labor, not slave labor. Although, that's also accurate. Oh, there you go. Leave the shop. Not ready? Yeah. Head to, head to Junius. Yes, please. I love how fast these loading screens are in five. Some of them took a meaty while. We really stick out. Guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. Yeah, why are you, why'd you change back into your school uniform? You guys didn't have them this morning? Wait. Did you? No. I mean, she still had her green jacket on, All but right, she had it open, going. and we can see under her, under her jacket, she, which was mega cute. To... I'm going. Okay, we believe Fine, you. Fine, but don't push yourself. Got it? I should have equipped that weapon. Now that I think about it, my imitation katana. 